Well, new at six, while the sports world is put on a pause right now, if you will, there's one event gaining traction that fulfills race car fans' need for speed, iRacing. Yes, six on your side, sports reporter Kellyanne Stitz caught up with a Hawkins County resident and dirt car racing legend on how he's acclimating to this type of racing. <laughs> Ivy will take the checkered flag for the World of Outlaws Morton Buildings Late Model. iRacing, or simulated racing, is not a new concept, but has recently gained more popularity as big names in the world of racing participate to stay sharp while real-time racing is paused. National Dirt Late Model Hall of Famer Scott Bloomquist is one of them. Quist has racked up over 600 victories, including nine national championships in dirt racing, but is new on the iRacing scene. There's a lot of pretty big names in it, and Cody, my partner, he's the one that kind of pushed me to do it. Temporarily trading in his late model car for a virtual one. It's, it's been tough, you know. When I first started doing it, I was so tense, and it just, I mean, it would wear me out, you know. And now I'm comfortable enough to run 100 laps if I had to. On Sunday, he was loaned Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s rig, and on Monday, competed in his first race. Over the past couple of days, the competitive driver logged over 3,000 laps. Practice has made me a lot more comfortable. And competed last night in the first of many iRacing events that will air nationally. With commentary by racing legends Josh Gordon and Clint Boyer and more, competing against NASCAR's Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell and other notable figures. Even though the driving of the cars, they're not, it doesn't compare because you don't have the element of feeling the car and, and the steering, it does odd things and you, but you just have to get used to that and then, then it's, it's fun, it's really, uh, and it's competitive, very competitive. One of the biggest challenges in competing in iRacing, managing the car setup. It's amazing how the racetrack changes like the real racetracks mm -hmm. do change. And the longer you run on them, their spots get slick. It's got to be really finesseful with your fuel and you can't oversteer. If you oversteer any, it just scrubs off speed. iRacing is helping keep Bloomquist's mind sharp for when actual races return and says he'll continue to compete in iRacing for the time being. Kelly and Stitz, WATE 6 on your side. I think it's a great idea. I want to do I, that. I got to tell you. Doesn't uh, that look like fun? It does look like fun. Uh, just a reminder, NASCAR iRacing continues this weekend. Drivers taking on Bristol. That is scheduled for 1 o'clock Sunday. A lot of fun.